I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a Sonfi RTS motor. Here we have a Son S40 RTS motor. I also have a Telus 4 multi-channel remote control. One of the first things you need to do is decide which channel you want the motor paired to. So in this instance, I want to pair it to channel 3. Now, we're currently powering the motor up using a standard plug and socket. This is very useful for demonstration because I can, of course, turn the power on and off as I wish from this socket. Now, frequently this will be connected to a fused spur when on site or in someone's home. We always recommend that it's connected to a fused spur with a switch on because you'll see when we get to the reset procedure, if you ever need to do a factory reset on this blind, it's much easier to be able to turn the power on and off quickly and easily. So, let's start by selecting our channel, channel 3, and turning the power on. Now that the power is going to the blind, you have 60 seconds to pair the remote control to the motor. This is done by pressing and holding the up and the down buttons together. The, the blind shunts to give you feedback that the pairing has been successful. This remote control now controls this motor on channel three. I can check that and check the turning direction by pressing and holding either the up or the down button. Now you have to press and hold because at this stage the motor is in programming mode. So if I press and hold the down button, the blind does travel down, which is correct. However, if this motor was on the other side of the blind, you may find that pressing and holding the down button would make the blind travel up, which would be incorrect. To rectify this, you press and hold the My button until the blind shuts. Now you'll see when I press and hold the down button, the blind travels up. The turning direction of the motor has been reversed. So let's change that back again so it's correct for this demonstration. I'm going to press and hold the My button, it's going to shunt, and now when I press the down button it travels down. The next thing to do is to set limits. You set the top limit first, so drive the motor to the top position where you want that top limit to be. You can do this by pressing and holding the up button, or by doing single presses which is going to move the motor in much smaller increments. So I'm just going to shunt it up to where I want it to stop. I'm happy with it there, so that's where I want my top limit position to be. To set it, I press the down button and the my button together. The blind will now travel down on its own. To stop it, press the my button. I now want to set the bottom limit position. So I'm going to press and hold the down button until I get to that bottom limit. So this is where I want my bottom limit to be. I think I might actually just nudge it up a little bit. Bit down a bit. So I'm happy with that. I'm now going to press the up and the my buttons together and the blind is going to travel by itself. To stop it, press the my button once. If you're happy with those limit positions, Press and hold the My button until it shunts. That confirms that those limit positions have now been set. The last step is very, very important. This, for this, you'll need a paper clip or a ballpoint pen or something that you can put into the hole on the back of the remote control. The programming button is on the back of the remote control and by pressing this, you'll get a shunt from the blind. What this says is this confirms that the motor is now out of programming mode and ready to be used. I can check that by pressing either the up or the down button. A single press of the up or the down button should send the blind should make the blind travel by itself. It's now going to travel up to the top limit position and stop. Likewise, if I press the down button once, it will travel to the bottom limit position and stop. If I want to stop it halfway, I can press the my button once. If I want to set this position as an intermediate position, 
I can press and hold the My button until the blind shuts. That's now set as an intermediate position and whenever I press the My button, the blind is going to travel to this point. So if I press the Down button once, it's going to go down to the bottom limit. If I now press the My button, it's going to travel to this intermediate position that we just set up. So, now what happens if you've done all of that and you made a mistake or you want to change those limits or you want to completely wipe the motor and use it perhaps in another blind? For this, you'll need a paperclip or a ballpoint pen and it's also very handy to be able to turn the power on and off easily and quickly. So, you, you do a complete factory reset by turning the power on and off in a sequence. The sequence is you start with the power turned on, you turn it off for four seconds, on for eight seconds, off for four seconds. At that point, the blind is going to travel for five seconds in the opposite direction to the way it last traveled. Then it will stop. Once it's stopped, you'll need your paper clip or ballpoint pen and you'll want to press and hold the programming button until you get two shunts from the blind. So, let me demonstrate. The power is currently turned on, so I'm going to turn it off. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Power back on. The blind is now traveling for five seconds in the opposite direction, and it's stopped by itself. Now, at this point, I need to press and hold the programming button until it shunts twice. As soon as I press the programming button, it will do one shunt, but I must keep holding it until it does the second shunt, otherwise the reset procedure won't be complete. There's your first shunt. I need to keep holding, keep holding until it does a second shunt. There's the second shunt. At this point, the motor is completely back to factory settings. There are no limits set and it's not paired to any remote controls. As you can see, I can't control it anymore. Now, if you did that procedure because you made a mistake or because you wanted to change both limits, then you could go straight back into repairing your remote control with your blind. And you do that exactly as we did at the start, by pressing and holding the up and the down buttons and the blind does a shunt. This remote control is now repaired with that motor and as you can see, it's in programming mode. When I press and hold either the up or the down button, it travels. We recommend doing the whole programming procedure in one hit. So this is right from pairing the remote control to changing or checking the turning direction, setting the top limit, setting the bottom limit, and then pressing the programming button once on the back to confirm that those, all those changes have been made and saved. If you decide not to do that, and if you decide to only do part of the procedure and then make some changes to perhaps the way the blind's fitted before you do the rest of the procedure, you're likely to run into problems.